and the shoe of the year is here. As of now, there is no competition, but we're gonna check it out in the next video, so stay tuned. Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is your boy Jared with the Retro Insider back again with another video. Thank you so much to all the new and returning viewers. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, we're bringing you the latest news, reviews, and how to cop tips for your favorite classic retro sneakers like the one we're going to be talking about today, which happens to be that highly anticipated, never duplicated Air Jordan 1 High OG Travis Scott that released on May 11, 20. 19 now of course we're going to go over the shoe today but if you want to know how i was able to get that sneaker stay tuned to the end of the video i'm going to be showing you a pretty crazy story about how i was able to get the shoe shoe rather so stay tuned here we go let's rock all right fam so getting into the package what we have here is what looks to be a traditional air jordan one box However, instead of black and red, we had a brown and red, which matches the colors of the shoe. Now, as far as the label, I have a size 12 here, and hopefully you can see that. It says Air Jordan 1 High OG TSSP. Now, my assumption is the TS is Travis Scott, and the SP is Special Project. As you can see also, the retail price is $175, $15 more than the traditional Jordan 1, which I think is warranted. Um, they put a lot of extra detail in here that makes sense for me so um, as far as the colorway we have the sail black and dark mocha and it's a very very nice package in here from what I can say now as far as the lid inside it's red and as far as the paper let's see we had this traditional or well, no non-traditional paper that's special for the project we had the Air Jordan Wings logo we have the Cactus Jack logos and also the Nike Air logo. Now, let me know what you guys think about the package. And I think it's superb. Um, it was different enough, you know, for the collab, but also stay, still stayed sort of true to the OG. Now, as far as the other paper, they do have the regular paper. It's the white paper here um, with a beige paper. And, uh, yeah, that's enough of the packaging. So, of course, let's get right into the shoes next. All right, so bye now. Here we have it, guys. This is the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. And I'm just going to give you a quick look around at the shoe. Hopefully, the colors are being represented properly. But just the initial first impression when I got it in hand, I was just amazed at the quality of this particular suede here. Um, I know you've seen other videos where people rub their fingers across it, and you just see that color just change like that, which is something we're not used to seeing on um, Jordan 1s. So it's good that they added at least some some better quality materials here as far as that goes. Now, um, as far as just the, the other materials, the leather right here on this reverse swoosh is very, very nice and soft. Very nice and soft. I, I can't really stress that enough. Now also, when it comes to the leather on the side panel, very tumbled, a soft plush leather. As you can see, soft, but not just too flimsy. Still has some good structural rigidity there you like that <laughs> now as far as the toe box another soft kind of leather right here you know what i'm saying i don't know what to compare it to i kind of want to say the pine greens sort of so to speak as far as softness even though it doesn't look as far as the texture of it it's about that same softness there so you know you're not going to be disappointed when it comes to the quality of the leather, the materials on this sneaker, if you're thinking about getting it. Now, um, let me just go over into some more details. Of course, the most prominent is the swoosh. I'm gonna tell you at first, I really, what, really wasn't a big fan. I felt like this was just too much white that it left here. But since having it in hand and seeing it more often, I really do like it. I mean, I don't think the shoe 
would be what it is if it was a regular swoosh. It has to be this. It's so unique, so special, and gives you that pop needed to make it a special shoe, you know. So um, kudos to Nike and Travis Scott for bringing that to this shoe. It's not the traditional Jordan 1. Now, as far as the tongue goes, of course, we got these unique details here. We got the Cactus Jack logo on the side of the tongue, which I think is dope. It's subtle, but it's there. You can see it is different. And uh, the, the tongue seems to be kind of padded. You know, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's, it seems very cushiony, so to speak. Now, another special element as far as the shoe is the back. We go to the back, we see that Cactus Jack logo there, that face. Tell me what this is. I don't know what it is. Please tell me what this is in the comments, guys. But anyways, it is nicely indented, debossed, embossed into the back of the shoe. I think it looks real good there. Another, you know, subtle branding, a uh, special element here that I really like. I mean, I just like the way they executed those elements here. Now, going to the inside, I thought I could bring it in here. Let me drop the brightness down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. We have that Cactus Jack logo on the side panel within the inside of the shoe under that, that swoosh right there. Another subtle touch to the shoe that I really, really like. So, you know, overall, that's just kind of the, what I like about this shoe. It's kind of understated, not crazy, not wild, sort of like that um, the Jordan 4 they released um, last year, 2017, and whenever they released it, you know, as far as the colors, this is a very subtle, grown man type shoe that I really think that uh, it's going to grow on a lot of people. You know, if at first you didn't like the colorway, I think if you see it in hand and on foot with the right outfit, this is some low key flex right here, even though it is a high key flex, it's low key color wise, you know, so I really like what they did here as far as that goes. So let's get this back bright so y'all can see. And uh, yeah, man, those are some of the you know most prominent elements, of course, that you're gonna see on the outside. So let's move to the inside of the shoe. And in this particular shoe, which is the right shoe, we have that Cactus Jack on the insole. And um, yeah, pretty dope, you know, subtle, but you know, still, still legit. Let's get the other shoe here so you can see what's on the inside. And on the inside, as you can see right here, they went with the Nike Air. So still kept it true to the OG with that. And uh, I like that. Let me know what you think about all these elements in the comments. Don't forget, go ahead and hit that like button also to help your boy. Also, good time to talk about these laces. Now, they come with the black laces, which I think are legit. It just fits, right? But the fact that they added four additional lace options is incredible now my favorite probably has to be these two right here this red and this pink it's just popping off of this shoe right here now i haven't put them in this shoe of course but i've seen people put in these pink and these red laces and by golly these are it chief no doubt about it now i think these also have a place as far as the sale and the brown laces but when you're trying to do that when you're trying to just hit them over the head with swag or that drip, you got to have the pink and the red in. So if I decide to keep these, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Might, might not. But if I do, I'll definitely be rocking with these red and pinks majority of the time. But if I really just wanna tone it down and just hit them slight over the head, probably stick with the black, excuse me. But uh, yeah, guys, this are it. Midsole wise, I don't like to go over the colors because you can see them, but as far as this, I really love the midsole. It just works with, you know, the shoe, with the sale, with the brown. You know, it's just a perfect combo for this shoe. Some people don't like it. I understand. I respect it. But for me, you know, I like it. I really do. But last but not least, guys, let's go ahead and crank it. Crank it up a notch with the inside pocket here. I know a lot of people have been wondering, wow, bro. Wow, what can I do with that inside pocket? Can I put my money in there? Can I put my contraband? You know, whatever you do, you can do it with this. And it's nice. The inside of it is kind of a satiny, I don't know. Yeah, silk satin <laughs> inside, very soft and plush. And uh, it doesn't go all the way down, but it goes a couple inches down on the shoe, as you can see. But it does wrap all the way around. So 
Let me know what you put in your stash spot if you had these, if you got these. Don't incriminate yourself, though. But, yeah, like I said, it's padded in here, too. I don't know if you can see that indentation that goes around. Keeps everything safe and your skin safe, too. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it as far as these shoes. Um, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you copped. Let me know if you're thinking about paying that resale. Resale is getting kind of crazy, man. It will, you know, it's, uh, yeah. But just let me know what you think. These are the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. Now, next, of course, you don't want to miss it. I'm going to tell you how I got these for retail. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. No. So to make a long story short, guys, the way I was able to get the sneaker was through the Foot Action app. Of course, um, the reservation. Um, I was unsure if I was going to get it. I've spent quite a bit of money with them, probably around $2,600, $2,800. So I was thinking, I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. If I get it, I'll do whatever it takes to go get the sneaker. If not, oh well. But yeah, fortunately, I was able to reserve it. Did all my check-in head starts via FTL codes. If you haven't done so, follow FTL codes on Twitter. They send out the um, check-in codes for different areas. So if you can't actually physically go to the mall to get your head starts, you can check on um, FTL codes and they'll give you the code that you can put in manually so you can get a better chance of reserving these sneakers like I did for the Travis Scott. So um, it was a 13 hour drive from where I live in Texas, North Texas. And so it happened to be Mother's Day weekend as well. So my mother went with me. I I'm glad she did because we spent a great time together for Mother's Day weekend. But I think we started driving at around 12 a.m. in the morning. Um, and we knew we had a 13 hour drive and, you know, besides stopping to get gas a couple times along the way, your boy did the complete trip up there. Um, got kind of rough, uh, they're probably in the middle of the, the trip, but as we got closer to Chicago, I think the adrenaline of me getting to Travis Scott just kept me going. But, uh, yeah, man. So as far as just how did I reserve the sneaker? I say one way to reserve limited sneakers especially through these apps is you got to spend money at these stores so i think once you become a vip member by spending about between 200 to 300 bucks um you know you'll you'll increase your chances but even then you got to spend more and more money my account currently is probably at around 2800 bucks and at that time probably around 2600 so once you get it around the two thousand three thousand dollar mark i think you'll be in a better shot but even then I don't know it's still a lucky to draw but that's just the way I've uh, gone about getting these reserved sneakers is I, I focus on one particular store and I spend as much money as I can there whether it's per personal shoes or shoes that I get and flip um, just try to spend money with these accounts so you know the next hot shoe that comes out through the apps you'll have a great shot at getting them so anyways if y'all have any questions about sneakers how to get them any more suggestions as far as videos and my methods that you want to learn about please leave them in the comments below i'd be glad to share them but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this particular travis scott review thank you so much if you have chosen to stay with me this long i know it's a longer video hopefully in the future i'll be able to kind of truncate these or squeeze them down a little bit so you don't have to listen and watch this whole time but anyways thank you so much it's your boy Jared with the Retro Insider. Remember, we're bringing you the latest news, reviews, and how to cop tips for all your favorite classic retro sneakers. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, anywhere at the Retro Insider. As always, stay humble and proceed. See you next time. Boom.